Alrighty. Flip a stat disassembly video. Doing a second part for reassembly. First thing you're going to want to do is take the end cap off here. Which should not be under any tension, of course. And that exposes the screw to take the buttstock off. For anybody wondering, there is nothing underneath the butt plate. It is just a piece of plastic with a little spacer in it. The wood grain is all exposed under the uh, under where these part, or pieces are. So then this, when I first got it, was under quite a bit of tension, hence this excessively large screwdriver. But the head fits the screw, and there we go. fairly good chunky screw. So the back of the receiver will be all um, has these little sharp points all over to hold onto the wood. Uh, do not pry against the plate or against uh, this piece right here somebody had before me. It just You'll just end up uh, folding some metal there. Nothing serious, it just doesn't look good. Second part will be to take the fore end off and for these, or the slide off, whatever you wish to call it, I'm going to use a Wheeler 141 dash 491 hollow ground flathead screwdriver two on each side a little bit. Expose this screw right here which holds the um, sling swivel on. It also uh, um, keeps this piece of the tube captive. You'll see that in a moment. There's that. Cap slides off. Oopsies. And you can then just slide this off. This piece of metal reinforcement here because well, this one shows that there's a hairline along with the wood grain right here. So this is a good a design on their behalf and then it's got a sp um, another red spacer up the middle so it is two pieces of wood. So now here do not take the temptation to hit this from back of the trigger guard to push it forward what you're going to want to do is look right about here there's a separation point for the two tubes Let's see if I can get a closer up of that right there now when I got this, somebody had bubbed this up pretty good to the point of this not moving at all. Um, so I had to go in here, clean this up with a um, little hacksaw blade and um, a file and then just ream out the inside of it so it'll slide nicely. So then what you're going to want to do, it is still stiff, but you're going to want to pull this tube forward and out, just like that. Which will then free this all up. Now one part I did forget to do is the safety piece right here. A little piece of red rubber. The other side's brass. And you just want to twist this off. Do not take pliers or anything coarse to this. It will mar it very easily, speaking from experience. Um, just finger tight when you put it on. And that's what that looks like right there, little red piece with some threads. And then there's a little brass dissution, however you want to pronounce it, inside of it. And then this piece here, which is just a big piece of brass, can just be pushed out with a little punch. Pushes out. Let me see if I can do that right like that. Thread it ends here. Exposed ends there. Then there's two of these hexagonal star pieces right here. These 
you just screw one side out, you don't have to screw the other one out. The reason is one's a cap and one's a screw. So that's the one side there, the cap is threaded inside. And that just slides at the other end. That's got the threads on it. Now, make sure this is in lock. But it will come out. There, hit the slide release, tilt it. This slides up on an angle. That's your spacer. This is what it looks like. This is a functioning firearm. Most of the ones in North America are known not to function. There's your markings on the underside there. Now, it's just a matter of pulling the slide back here. Tilting it out, you can use gravity, of course. There's your bolt slide. Everything, do not torque on this. It is flexible, but you don't want to break any of the welds. Unless you got deep pockets and no TIG welder. So, now there's a little cross pin here in the bolt. And... All you do is you're going to want to poke that out to release the bolt from the uh, slide. It will also release the firing pin and firing pin spring. You can go further and take this flat head out here, release the clip, which is what holds the bolt head on. But I would advise against it because these you don't want to risk anything inside of these unless it is already broken. So there is that. And once you're inside, this is number serial number 134. These two pieces right here, part of the feed and injection system, best I understand it. Um, these will get in the way on reassembly, which will be in the next part of the video.